Hello everybody and welcome back to Manor Lords where it is currently apparently a uh, kind of miserable rainy day. We're working on plowing these fields out here. The harvest is completed at this point, but we don't currently have anything stored in the windmill. Our grain is stored in the farmhouse. I think we need to wait for the fields to get plowed for these to move or we need to have somebody employed in the granary. Because the people in the windmill don't appear to be interested in going and grabbing this these resources. So I'm going to remove them from the windmill for now and assign them to the farmhouse. Now, up over this way, I want to point out that we currently have people working in the livestock area here. And these two are importing livestock. So that looks good. We are, of course, currently working on exporting our hides. So that's making us some money, and that is all absolutely wonderful. Up in this sheep farm, we don't really have anybody here right now. We want to start farming sheep. That will be a good thing, because that will get us our weaver's workshop online. So that is the current goal. And apparently we don't need any finished cloth goods. We just need to produce the, produce the raw resources. So we need to produce, like, linen or yarn or something like that. And I guess these guys will make their own clothing. So that seems absolutely fine. This is quite a torrential rain at this point. So that's a thing. Let's just warp on forward a little bit here, at least until the rain ends. And we'll see how this plowing goes. It's going to take them a little while. I would have much preferred that this corner be here, but this would then be a five gone. At this point, I guess we could say a pentagon. That, that That's probably what we should say. This would be a pentagon at that point. And having non-square fields doesn't, or rather non-rectangular fields, doesn't appear to be a thing unless it's intersected like this. So we could have potentially moved this down to like here and had it come up to here. It could be a thing. But for now, this seems reasonably okay. So I want to come up this way and see. Do we have our sheep yet? No, we do not. So these guys are all apparently imports livestocking. They are leaving. Okay. So I guess they have to walk to another location to, like, this trade point. Yeah, presumably they have to walk to the trade point, grab the sheep, and then come back. Fair enough. So that seems fine for the moment. The firewood stall is, of course, abandoned. Now, we just finished up construction of this burgage. So we don't have any construction going on right now. I want to assign a family to our woodcutter's lodge. That'll be fine. For the moment, we probably do not require any logging. I'm going to undisable our saw pit. And we're going to unassign the family here. We're kind of waiting for growth at this point. We don't have a lot of backyard in these burgages necessarily, but we've got nine living space and six families. So that's okay. This burgage plot here, we could definitely construct a backyard extension on. This will be a big backyard extension. And I kind of want it to be... Either vegetable garden or the chicken coop. Only the vegetable garden has a yield depending on plot size. So let's get going on that. This over here, I would like to have be a, a chicken coop. This, I would like to have be a chicken coop as well because they're small. This here, we can have be a goat shed. We probably don't need that much hide production. So I'm just going to have two of these be a goat shed. And then we'll have this one be chicken, but we don't have the wealth right now. So we'll just have this one be a vegetable garden. And then we'll need to save up a little bit to get another chicken coop here. That'll be fine. So that looks good for now. We don't have any unassigned... Well, we do have an unassigned family right now. Oh, we got a seventh family. Five plus four. Oh, I see, because we're going to be working on these. Right. So we have an unassigned family. We'll just leave them for now. Trader plowing by hand. Okay, so they're lending an aid with, when they don't have other things to do, presumably. 
presumably that's what's happening right now. So we currently don't have any timber. That's expected. And we want to maintain about 10 hides. We've got nine more to sell. So we'll definitely work at that. Not enough funds for import from the livestock, livestock trading post. Okay. So I guess they walked all the way down to here and didn't bring the gold with them. They didn't like pre-allocate the gold. So that's noted that they didn't pre-allocate the gold. I expected them to, but apparently they didn't. So we spent all of our gold on backyard plots. <laughs> sure, that's fine. We'll get all of these backyard plots completed. I do still want to get this chicken coop here. That's going to be reasonably important for us. To be clear, at this point, the vegetable gardens aren't going to do very much. So this is grown at this point, I believe. But it's not been harvested. Okay. That's fine. We definitely want to get this all taken care of. So that looks good. And out over in the fields here, this is all looking fine. It'll take some time to get all of this completed, though. So we've got one of these finished, and we're working on plowing out these vegetable gardens. That's okay. We certainly do want to get a chicken coop over here. We've got the goat shed here and here. So that'll give us additional hides for our exporting from the goats. So that's looking good. We have zero wealth right now, and I'm wondering what's going on in our trading coat, our trading post at this point. Okay, these guys are helping out plow. That's probably fine. Actually, I think they're plowing here. This is probably their burgage. Okay. Well, let's head forward a little bit here. And that'll be fine for the moment. Family members join one of the settlers. Okay, so that is good. We've now got seven level one families. We've got one more male family member that can be that can join. That'll be okay. Construction finished out over here. Looks good. Excellent. So that does indeed look fine. This burgage still needs to be plowed. There's a large vegetable garden that goes in there, but that is okay. We're still working on plowing up these fields, and it's October right now, so we can definitely do that for another month. Once we get into winter, seasonal consumption will be doubled, or rather, firewood consumption will be doubled. So we've got, at the best, or rather, at the worst, seven months of fuel, which is enough. We only need about three months. So I'm wondering... Yeah, our wheat is still in the farmhouse for right now. Okay. Well, let's continue to warp forward here. Whoa, was that birds? I think that was birds. Okay, sure. Let's continue to warp forward here. And we're just continually working on plowing up this field. And the bandits stole our wheat. Okay. That's very rude of them. Very, very rude. We have recruits missing. We can't raise up our spear militia and go do anything about them yet. We need to continue to grow. So they stole our wheat. Okay. Well, let's get these fields plowed. We will do something about them eventually. We need more recruits for it, though. We're at 21 population right now. And how much do we need for this? 36. That's a lot of population. We're going to need more spears and shields as well. So that's going to take some time. Now, what bandits stole it? These guys up over here. Okay. Incredibly, incredibly rude of them. If only we had had people to move them out of the farmhouse. <laughs> well, we now don't have any wheat. What we do have is no amount of gold. So we're just waiting on more gold to come in here. We do need a fair amount of it. But we're just waiting on these, this plowing to finish as well. And we'll sow as well. That'll all be done reasonably soon. Plowing by hand is, of course, not ideal. We're going to want to have an ox for that. That's probably not a this year thing. 
We'll probably get that going next year. Oh, hello, lightning. Okay. We've got ourselves quite a storm going on here. Winter is indeed approaching. But it's not here yet. So we're still working on that field up there. It looks like we're sowing right now. New Merc companies are available. We've got 24 gold as of right now. So I do want to head over here and get that chicken coop going. But we need one more gold for it. So that's fine. Do we want a chicken coop or do we want a second vegetable garden? I think a chicken coop is the way to go. So for now, that seems absolutely fine. Let's fast forward. We're still working on plowing this, but a new family is now moving in. And what do we want that family to do? We probably are okay with them being unassigned for the moment. Checking it up over here. Yeah, we've not imported those sheep yet. We could assign them to the farmhouse. Having more people helping out with the plowing is probably good. It's November right now. Family members have joined, so we're at 16 and 8. So we're actually maxed out for our population growth without getting another family. Seems good. And let's just continue to work on getting this field plowed up. If we can get it plowed and sown before winter, that's going to be a very good thing. Unfortunately, losing our wheat crop is rough. No doubt about that one. But at least, at least that's what they stole and they didn't steal something more valuable to us. <laughs> we'll be fine. It's quasi-acceptable. We're almost done plowing the fields at this point. It is, of course, November. And crop growth is 6%. That's interesting. We're going to get 74 wheat out of this field. That's insane. Okay. So we're now sowing this, this field. We're at 24%. Yeah. Let's get that sown. I'm a little surprised we're getting crop growth, but whatever. Rain again. Sounds good. We're up to 36 regional wealth at this point. And that's fine. So 71 yield right now. It's a little lower on the fertility, I think, isn't it? No, it's a little higher on the fertility. We're only 89% done sowing. These guys are all going home. They didn't quite finish the sowing. Okay. Well, it is December, so I'm guessing that they can't at this point. I'm guessing it is what it is. We managed to get an 89% sown. And there's just kind of nothing for the farmers to do. Okay, so we just got ourselves another family here. So if we check in here, yeah, all of these people are pretty much waiting. So let's take them out of the farm for right now. I don't want them in the logging pit. I do, however, want to be carving up some logs here. That'll be fine. And I want somebody assigned to the weaver's workshop. I do want someone assigned to the sheep farm. And we can have someone assigned to the stonecutter camp with one other being unassigned. Okay. And that's going to be kind of the uh, state of the way we're going to do things here in the winter. We've got 56 regional wealth right now. Are we importing livestock right now? We are. Out of curiosity. So this is 30 import price. So we have enough to get one sheep right now. Okay. We're not selling any additional hides at this moment. Although we will eventually get them from these areas down here. Are we ever going to harvest this? I wonder. <laughs> I'm not sure that we have yet. Checking in on our food stall, we've got six bread, seven meat, three eggs. So we're doing okay on that front. We've got nine months of food, and we do still have some food sources. The wild animals are at 21 of 40 right now, and we are crafting, peddling, and transporting. So the hunting camp is still working away. That seems good. 
Now, our woodcutter's lodge is doing reasonably okay as well. I want to check in here, transporting, transporting, and peddling. Okay. And these guys are presumably going to, yeah, gather the, the stone from the stonecutter camp. That'll be okay. We've got a lot of stone here, but I don't expect that to regenerate. So I don't really want to export non-renewable resources if we can help it. We'll see what ends up happening with that one. So back over here, we do have this iron deposit out over here that we may want to start going after eventually. But having just additional families is a very big deal. Now, it is at this time December. So, I'm 99% certain that that's the reason why everybody left. It is now officially snowing. Okay. People are apparently going to church. Sure. Seems fine. So I'm wondering where our livestock are right now. These two are importing livestock. We're still at 56 regional wealth. Waiting, going home, and stocking up over here. Waiting, transporting, and transporting. Sure. Okay, so that all seems reasonably fine. I uh, would definitely like to harvest these vegetables. No one seems particularly interested. Christina is a chicken and is waiting. Okay. Sure. Sure. This is a goat up over here. Also waiting. That's fine. So it's interesting that we don't have to import goats. Or chickens. Only oxen, mules, horses, sheep, and lambs. Meat so tender, it practically melts in your mouth. Come and see for yourself. Somebody's attempting to sell food, I guess. Sure. So what do we have in our in our food storage here? Yeah, this is reasonably fine. We don't have any weavers right now. All of these guys are waiting on a source of linen or wool, right? So that'll be fine. I do see snow starting to accumulate out over here. That looks good. But for now, we just want to get those sheep imported. And I want to check in. Yeah, we've got 11 hides now. So we can export an additional hide. That'll be fine. And we'll do that eventually. It takes some time to get it done, but eventually it will happen. We'll run out of logs eventually as well. But uh, we're definitely seeing the snow coming in. Okay, so I'm currently looking at the way that it's growing and realizing how this effect was done. So basically, this is just a noise pattern with a color ramp on it. Okay, cool. That's a clever way to do that. I like it. However, what I don't like is the way that this looked before I zoomed in there. The LOD on that was a little awkward. But it's okay. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Yeah. So, the snow is accumulating. It is currently December. We should have plenty here. Bandit stole one of our vegetables. That's very rude. We're going to want to deal with those bandits, but as of right now, we can't raise up our militia. We could, in theory, hire these mercenaries if that's actually implemented. I'm not convinced it is. Clicking on that doesn't appear to do anything. Are we still growing in the winter? Crop growth is 14, crop growth is 6. We'll keep an eye on that. Surely it's not growing in the winter, right? 99% sure on that. But this does confirm to me that we were too late in our planting previously. It is still growing in the winter. Interesting. So you definitely want to get it sown in the fall. No doubt about that. Well, let's just continue to head forward here. I see that we lost 30 gold. So that must mean that we have a sheep on the way in. Yes. So we have a surplus of one sheep right now. And we're trying to get a surplus of two. The question is, where is that sheep? It's not in the livestock trading post right now. It does not appear... Actually, it is in the sheep farm. Pasture space 1 of 29. It must be assigned to here, but not actually be here yet. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm. Well, that's certainly interesting. I'm not sure entirely what we've got going on there, but whatever. We'll head back in over this way. Eventually, I'm expecting the sheep to show up. <laughs> we don't have enough gold right now to import a second sheep. So we're going to need to wait for our trader to get rid of some of our stuff here. I do want to bump this up to having a surplus of maybe like 20 planks. I think that's reasonable. So are we currently... Yeah, we're transporting and trading. So we should be getting some amount of food out of... Or food. Some amount of gold out of all of that. But as I said, I don't really want to sell off this stone. Down to 566. Okay. We are digging through this stone very quickly. That's noted. So we're going to want to store it probably in the storehouse once we're done there. Storage is full at the stonecutter camp. Yeah. For now, let's go put somebody in the storehouse, and I would like them to be doing stuff. So they're going to haul stuff around, right? And we don't see a stonecutter market stall. I'm not surprised about that. That seems more like a communal resource. But the weavers, that'll be a different story. So the next question is, where's that sheep? The sheep does not appear to have appeared yet. If we check in here, we can see we have one sheep. I'm guessing it is still moving around. So let's check in on where... Actually, mm, guiding an ox imports livestock going home. So he doesn't... Oh, he does have the sheep with him. Excellent. So here he comes, slowly walking through here. Excellent. We can go up to 12 speed. And here comes our source of clothing. <laughs> it's um, not great. We're going to need more sheep, but we want to get sheep breeding. And in order to do that, we need to get our village leveled up. And in order to do that... Interesting, the pathing he took there. That indicates to me that a road up this way would not go amiss. In fact, our roads aren't connected to the main roads, like, at all. We may want to do that. So, a connection, like, out over here, like this. And then, a connection through this farm wouldn't necessarily go amiss, but we could also have it come out over this direction, like so to about here, and then connect in up over this way, but then also come down over here, something kind of like that. And then we can have maybe another farm slot down over this way. Not the worst thing in the world. That took a moment to zoom out. Okay. Not necessarily what I was looking to do, but that's fine. Okay. So the sheep is going to be up over here very shortly. And that looks fine. I'm also noticing, I don't know if this has been a case, the case for previous videos in this series. I'm noticing in my video preview here, it looks a little stuttery. I'm not seeing that in the actual game. I'll have to check the video to see if that's happening. If so, I don't know why that would be. That's, that would be very interesting. So this guy is importing the livestock, presumably to the pasture here. So we have pasture space for 29. New Merc companies are available, apparently. I don't know where or how to access them, but for now, this is fine. It is now January. And things are going reasonably well for us. We've got nine months of storage left. Oh, I wanted to check in. Fifteen months of fuel. Okay, so it must... That, that projection must compensate for winter. Good to know. That is definitely good to know. So... Is the sheep up here? Yep, the sheep is in the pasture. Fantastic. So these guys are all just waiting. And the real question is, when are we going to shear the sheep? Once we shear the sheep, then the weaver's workshop can start going. Now we're going to need more sheep than this. We only need to import the two for right now, and we'll have, like, passive sheep growth later on. But I do want to get a second sheep going here. 
And that, of course, means that we're going to need to do stuff. Cool. So I'm wondering if they stole it because it was in the farmhouse and here because it was perhaps stored here and because we weren't moving it to a central storage. That would definitely be interesting if that were the case. Are we still producing eggs in the winter? I suspect we are. So we should be okay on that front. Now we absolutely could put in a chicken coop here. That would cost us almost all of our existing gold. And the question is, is that okay? Maybe. Jacob is currently off trading, and he'll probably make us some gold fairly soon. So that's probably reasonably fine to do. We need to have a little bit more gold to import the sheep, but for now, this is okay. We've only got the one sheep, but, you know, it's wandering around in the snow. I I'm sure it's fine. It, it looks fine. Well, at any rate, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to make our way through the rest of the winter here. It's actually about half over at this point, so not too bad. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy McGar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.